Hello everybody and welcome back to the 12th episode. It's like the 12 days of Christmas, except it's after Christmas, even though it's winter time and all that good stuff. Welcome back. This is our 12th episode, like I said. A Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage. He ain't gonna be raging so much longer, because guess what? We're at 4,885 gems, 55 orbs, which is already well over enough. I think you need... 40 orbs in order to even face Ripto, but you know, we're 100% in the game, so we're at 40, uh, 55 orbs, close to the max 64, which we'll most likely get this episode, since we're near the end, we only have two levels left with 27 lives, two of those orbs is here in Winter Tundra, and 185 gems out of 400, here we go, we can now... Go through the gate and reach the second half of Winter Tundra as this is the super portal right here. We need that orb that Ripto has used to regain power in his scepter, essentially. Thanks to money bags and Hunter not doing a damn thing because he's a worthless piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, that's besides the point. So this episode as I've mentioned before, consists of the final two levels of Spyro 2, which are robotic themed. And this takes us all the way up to the end. That is where Ripto lies, where the final castle is. And there's an orb just sitting right fucking there. What do you know? Right on top of Winter Tundra. There's more stuff to be had this way. Look at this view. This is a beautiful view, except you got Ripto's banners there. We don't need that there. If only I can fly up there and burn them down, like Seth freaking Rollins. All right. So back here, actually, don't be scared. There's some water. I think on both sides. I think. Yeah. So go down the waterfall here. I think they both lead the same direction, so don't don't be scared. Either way, it takes you down here where we need to go in the middle to get everything else we need to get, which is kind of hard to see. Honestly, I, th I think I'm going the right direction. I honestly don't even know anymore. Yep, up through here. Right there we are. And there's the final orb in the hub world, which takes us right back over here where the speedway is. So that's essentially everything in Winter Tundra so far, other than the very, very top of the castle. So, as I mentioned, it's robotic themed. So we're going to go to Robotica Farms as the first of the final two levels of Spyro 2. Oh boy, I'm excited. We are so near the end with over 5,000 gems. We've reached that mark. Let's do it. So yeah, we're farming as robots. Apparently, that gets the job done. But hey, you got bigger bugs coming in spraying you guys away that's where Spyro comes into play tell me what's up buddy <laughs> yeah turn it on yeah we'll turn it on get rid of all these motherfuckers Okay, we didn't have to do that, because we got this thing, and also, please, come back here, because you'll probably miss those two, most likely. We can grab this rock, and we could have just shot him with it, but that's fine. Don't know what this thing is. I think it spits, actually, yeah, it spits these out for us. Don't want to hit that. Don't want to hit you either. We can charge it at him, though. So yeah, this is sort of like the final couple levels in Spyro 1, actually, when it comes to those barrels. 
getting exploded. So man, we're almost done with another Spyro game already. Very close. Oh yeah, flip him over. You know what's to come. Or head bash. Head banging. Destroying them with it. That's what we do. That's what we do best. Alright. Nothing we can do here. We'll fall down on purpose at first. So we can get all this down here real quick. So that we have to come back. Even though we most likely will anyways. Just because that's how the level works. As you'll see what I mean, probably. Oh, I missed. It squished me. Oh, we actually could charge into them. Okay, I thought if I charged them, it would explode on me. Oh, man. Okay. Right. Well, if he's spinning, I don't think you want to charge into them. But I don't know. I thought you couldn't charge into the barrels, but you can. Just throw it back at him. So that happens. Oh, more of these that I missed. That I missed again. We'll get it. There we go. Alright, anything back here? Alright. I want to jump up here before that happens. You know. Awesome. Physics and weight. Alright, that's pretty cool. There's stuff over that way. Um, I'll get another one of these, even though I'll most likely want to use my flame ability. I want that sheep, too. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. And Spyro can get that gem. Don't even need you for that one, Sparks. Right, so that's just that thing. Alright. Going up. Oh. Hold on. Okay, I thought I saw a gem down here. Thought it was purple and shiny. I don't know what I was seeing. But just in case. So we don't have to come back all that much. Oh shit. I'll take it. Ugh. Get screwed. Before we do, with the pooch. By the pooch, I mean the fan. Oh! Knocked him. Oh, damn. That was close, but that's fine. Oh, missed him. That's great. We'll just grab this then. Aha! Dodged you. Alright, so, yeah, we got everything down there. Nice. So let's see if we can uh, help this farmer out, most likely. Looks like he needs help. Sure can flame the bugs. This is kind of difficult. Not too much. Because you can fucking miss them so easily. So we won't run on top of these hills so we can get the flight we need. But we get the double. Got all those. So this could be either really hard or pretty easy. Because they also kind of split up depending on how you move and shit. Because that one was still there. I usually get them there, it looks like. Oh, that was it. And then you can mess up. Because I think they'll come back over time if you're not fast. But we'll get them right here. Oh, we won't. Never mind. And we can also get electrocuted. Yeah, see, now we're back to, down to one. Oh, now we finally got him. Yeah, there we go. The double, once again. Love these challenges, man. Too bad we are so close to the end. I'll just restart the entire game as soon as I'm done. 100% it again immediately by myself. That's honestly how I feel right now. I'm having such a great time. Oh yeah. Especially when I bonk my head. <laughs> and none of that was definitely sarcasm. And it always seems like when I say it's not, it seems like I'm being more sarcastic about it. But I'm not. I'm really enjoying this, of course. I love Spyro. Who the fuck doesn't?
It's like, who the fuck doesn't love Mario? And boy, we made the platform. It just came down. It's on a cycle. Global cycle, actually. Oh. I bet you I know where that's going. No way. And we have to come all the way back down here and wait for the platform again now. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I want my money. More than money bags. Alright, before we go back up there again, though. Since we gotta wait on the platform anyways. Alright, yeah, get rid of him so we don't have to deal with running through here and him hitting us with the barrel. And this guy. I don't care. I want to hit this guy. There we go. All platforms back. I'll take it now. I will take it now. Okay, I think that was all then. Never mind. I'll just fly then. Oh, I missed. I missed him. Too bad. Alright, gee, what the fuck do we do here? I don't know. Oh! It's more of an obstacle challenge than figuring it out type of thing. And if that guy knocked me back down on that thing, I'd be kind of pissed. Oh, force field. Can't go through. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh, I missed again. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This is hard. There we go. <laughs> and I'm just going to go right through this one. There we go. Bonker head. Strategy. Oh, yeah. Aha. See the fucking aspect of doing that? And how useful it can be. I just want to get rid of him real quick. I know I missed some things right here because I didn't go all the way. So I was so intrigued by everything else over the other way. But that, that, that's besides the point as well. I digress. No, it's balance. Now we can never get up there. Except this one's less balance. I touched it as well and it kind of went down more. So that helped. Even though it didn't really make much of a difference anyways. So, so there we go. We should be near the end, you'd think, right? Right? Oh, sh Alright, that is the end. Okay, so, yeah, look. So that is the end. It's like, oh yeah, you can't get up there. They try to tease you with it, but guess what? You got this platform here. And I can do this. You know, as if it mattered. Because, you know, 100%ing. Damn. Killed him with the rock. And this should be the end. Light it up. Get rid of these buggies. Gotta save the farms. Yes, reward me for my hard, sweaty work on the farm. We were so close. We just need five more orbs, guys. And we've got them all. Does this hurt? Okay, it doesn't hurt me. I'm a dragon, I can take it. Alright, obviously, again, more stuff in the world. Because we've seen this other farmer right over here. So let's go talk to him. At least if we fall there, we can, uh... Excuse me? Okay, you want me to go to another way, apparently, or something. Or I have to fly to him. And besides, double jumping. Yeah, we're gonna have to fly to him. Alright, cool. Oh, hell yeah. We're supercharging. This is also difficult, because we can fall down, and oh my god, it begins. This is the final time this happens, I'm pretty sure. No? And maybe. I think so. I think this is the last level with it. With those mystery jars. So we're going to have to hit that while trying to get everything else. 
But also, moving with this thing sucks, because that happens, and I finally got hit by that. Okay, so that's why that's there. And hey, there's the mystery. I was not paying attention at all. Oh, look where it's at. Right down over there. I should go ahead and hit it now, right? Just because. Alright. That's somewhere that way. It has, has to be. But we'll get it here in a second. Once we... Help this farmer out. Here we go. Best attempt yet. The controls, man. Okay, I thought it was like round here. As well, for some reason. They all look the same, so... You know... You know what? Let's, let's be real. Let's just... Alright. Oh shit. Aw, oh, and then I flew because I knew I was going to make it. Attempt number three. Well, no, that was technically three. Because the second one was the best one. Ah. Uh, black screen of death. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. There we go. Got that back, at least. But you're hitting it so fast. You're like, you're going so fast. Like, you're going through the gyms. You're going to have to come back. Oh, my God. I can't see shit. I really can't. That should be it. No, there's more over there. We have to go through this entire fucking track. Alright. We're heading back. This is not too far away. And at least this is a challenge. And at least we can go back and grab those gems now. Because <laughs> we won't have to make at least two uh, trips back anyways. Oh my god. At least we didn't fall. So that's a mulligan. That doesn't count. Attempt number five, still, right here. You better grab both. See, I can't see shit when I was, like, going through and hitting those things. Oh my god. They were just all in my face. I was just, like, moving left and right, guessing. So this might be one of the hardest things that we're going to be doing. <laughs> because the controls are awesome. And I didn't practice this, of course. So why would I? We're playing the game, damn it. We don't need practice. Attempt number six. We won't. Oh, okay. Don't hit the wall. So far, so good. Oh my god. Almost fucked it up. Almost fucked it all. Oh, we're going all the way around again. Oh shit. Oh shit. We got one last thing to hit. Where am I over here? Damn, I don't think I can make that. Yeah, that's a bit too high. However, I don't, I don't know if I can get a shortcut over there or not from this angle. Oh, yeah, he can't stop me. Sort of. I mean, it's right here, anyways. All right, now we know which way to go. Attempt number seven is the one. Just tap left and right, man, just tap it. Well, I was holding it that time, but hey, the gems. There we go. That was a big ass tournament, it looks like. Some sort of vegetable, but it wasn't really a vegetable. Right. So 60, we got four more orbs to go, and we're done. That's all the orbs in Spyro. Alright. So hopefully we got all the gems already. Matter of fact, since it's not blocking our way anymore. I don't care, I'm gonna double jump up here. I don't wanna check. It doesn't really help me too much. That's the beginning of the level, isn't it? Or close to it. Alright. 
So now we gotta find that mystery jar. Which I think might be down over here somewhere. So I know it's by one of these things. The one of these seesaws. Oh, sh I don't think there was one down here though. Nope. There wasn't. Oh, look. I I was close by it. I went around here and I didn't even see it. This was the same one, right? Yeah. Wow. So all I know is we have to go backwards, and I think it's over here. Because it takes us to the end of the level, back to the beginning. It's by a fan. It's at the beginning. Okay, so this is the last one. Nice. So I knew where the last one was. And look, we did it. What do you got to say now? I reckon you gotta shoot some of them. Well, you know what? They're already gone. They're done for. Is there a short exit I can take? Right here. Cool. So I get back to the end. Right at the end, actually. Oop. I needed to get a little closer, but I think this might work. No, it won't. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We did it. See you later, guys. We are done. We just got one more level to do. The final level of Spyro 2. As we end the fate of these bugs. Right. So the last level is on the other side. Here's some more gems. Professor. And to open this one, I think you have to be at 50. Last time I checked. So yeah. Let's get these. These tens. You, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. I need to beat Ripto so we can get that super orb back for the super portal. But until then, we have to go through Metropolis, which is another robotic level, as I mentioned before. That's the theme of these levels, like with the cavemen back in Autumn Plains. There's always like two levels that kind of correspond to one another. But this time, it's completely futuristic. You have ro robots like back in the day slash old school style of farming. This is robotics in the future. It's all civil now and there's a pig with a fucking rocket launcher. Well, not a rocket launcher, but a rocket tied to his back. And he sounds like Stephen Hawking's. All right, get ready, guys, because we are here. So with this, you just got a force field. You can look around. Over there in that section is the end of the level. So it's pretty huge. This is Metropolis, guys. This is it. Here we go. As you can see by the map. Oh, man, fired my booty. So we're going, we're going against cows who's using pigs as their grunts. With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expected it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, mm. though. Well, how am I supposed to whack the platform? And now the music's stopped, which sucks because I love the music. But we're going to have to head bash it. And it takes us down, not up. Because, of course we bash downwards I guess 
What happens? Oh, piggy! He shot the pig at me. So yeah, these final levels have some serious enemies. Just like in the previous episode where we killed fucking 35. Oh, we can't do shit. Completely guard it. He knows my tricks. Or we can go behind him too. But yeah, 35 freaking enemies we destroyed. That's how many enemies there was in like the Mystic Marsh area. Oh, don't wait for me. All right, things are going pretty good so far other than the music. But hopefully when we talk to the next robot, he can actually speak his dialogue so this, this doesn't happen. Because <coughs> the music stops once they start talking, essentially. Ooh, an egg. You will give me an egg. And hey, a little tiny ass ladder right there. Let's climb it just so we can get this, but we can't get that. So we need something else. But hey, fly over to this one. And we got ourselves a little challenge here. Talk! As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. And that's the most robotic voice ever. Here we go. So this is pretty much a mini boss right here. It's pretty sweet. All we have to do is just skate around and use circle for a flame to hit it back at him. The middle one, of course, is the easiest. But again, it won't even get to him all the time. And over a set amount of time, because, you know, that's what bombs do, they'll explode. Or they'll explode on impact by hitting him. Damn, middle. Okay, then he's gonna go this way, right? Alright. So if you had the fireball ability, you know, what you get for 100% of the game already, this would be easy. Really easy. Oh, ricocheted it. That's all I was trying to do. Oh my god. To myself. I'm using the analog stick for this, by the way. Oh, that didn't hit. Oh, come on. Oh my god, because, yeah, if it hits you on impact, it explodes as well. Still no music, damn. I thought that would work. We'll never regain control of the armory without your help. Gotta get rid of this ox, man. So the first one's easy, because the first one's always going to be in the middle, so you get a free hit right there. Then we can possibly ricochet it, but we didn't. Trolls, man, so bad. Oh, I'm glad we have invincibility frames. Otherwise, I would lose my mind. Thank you. Nice. Middle. I gotta reset myself. Because it's hard to turn around, and I'll get hit anyways, so it's not even worth it. So I'll just wait until he hits the one in the middle again, because <clears throat> that's its pattern. He goes middle, right, middle, left. Oh my god. I'm going to get rid of that one. There we go. He's donezo. And that was funzo. Excellent work, dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. That's the best you're going to get from me. That's just not not entirely, but that's all I'm going to do with a robot voice. So yeah, it just it's lame that the music is dead. But hey, we got it. I might get the soundtrack to this level and add it onto it. Just letting you know, if I do, there's literally no music playing right now. Once the second robot was talking to us, because he never got through this dialogue. And I can't get any other ones to start up, because, you know, this disc isn't all that well. Oh boy. I'm just going to wait here. Because even if I do that, if I got a little bit closer after hitting them, I'm pretty sure I would take damage, splash damage. And hey, we are going up this time. And I think this is where the end is. 
Cool. Oh my god, little piggy. Oink oink. Go wee 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 all the way home with your rocket. Oh, almost <laughs> charged into it. Yeah, I was trying to do that in midair while I was coming down. Oh my god, you can't charge him. I forgot about that. For some reason. For some reason, I forgot. Nope. No! Oh, I bounced off him. I didn't want to do that. But we made it. Okay, it's taking us all the way up. Apparently. Oh my god. What is this? What is this angle? Why did I hit something? Yeah, that angle is so weird. But it takes us up to the end. Wow, look at that. I wanted to go down there, actually. But, I mean, level short. That invisible wall really stretches out. Okay, so here we go. Come on, Inventor Droid. We made it to the end. We found you. Ah, Spyro, I had heard... You were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. Because it's sh pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Two more orbs to get. There's the end. We can just leave. We can just dip on you. I don't care what the hell you want to talk to me about right now. Or you want me to do. I can just go through that portal and just leave. But we're not. It's a first for Avalar. A combination power-up. Oh boy, of course the final level would have this. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep and their spaceships must be sp stopped. Oh my god, the sheep have taken over Metropolis. They're taking revenge from Spyro 1. So now, we can fly and shoot our fireballs. And what we gotta do is destroy them, but I only have one hit left anyways, so we're fucked. Hopefully that's a checkpoint. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's reading the last di dialogue. Keep after those saucers, Spyro. Oh, there we go. I had training. And we're back with the music. Alright, even though they it probably never left you guys. If I do edit that in. So, yeah, we're breaking everything at this point. So, I love how open this part is. Especially when you can just fly around to shoot fireballs. Instead of just your flame breath. Nice. Did it carry over? I didn't pay attention to that, but I didn't know I destroyed them all already. Because I thought, you know, once you fell, it'll just restart. But I guess she said keep at them, so. Okay, next wave. Difficulty 5. I don't know why. But I guess... They're dangerous now, more dangerous. And I'm definitely using an analog stick for this part. I don't know. It just seems, it just seems better. It seems fitting. We definitely want to. We definitely want to get used to this right now. Last one. I think it's coming this way. Nope. Guess not. Yeah, we're gonna have to use this to like break all the other ones as well. We didn't get the gem. There we go. All destroyed. Easy peasy. I'm glad you came up with it. Double power up, baby. How about how about the triple? 64 orbs. 64 out of 64 of the entire fucking game. It's over. Now, to get the rest of the gems. Which we are very close to doing. As we are on Saturn. Oh, shush. Oh, whatever this one is. I forgot, alright? I haven't really paid attention to the planets in so long. Especially when, technically, Pluto isn't even a planet anymore because of how small it is. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with that. But we're going to use this power up to help us get everything. 
See that? Yeah, it comes down here. Go ahead, just destroy all of that. We are a madman. And what I also want to do is come down this way. Actually, we already got that one. The, the one that was down here that we had to break. Alright, that's cool. So I guess we could have used that platform down there. Oh shit. To get us up here. Which I think we already did, actually. Well, just in case. Because, you know, once this power-up runs out, it's over. But yeah, the planet that had the, the ring around it. I think it was Saturn. Jupiter? Get more stupider, because I don't know. So what? So what? I haven't studied it. I haven't seen... I haven't been in school in a while. What does that really have to prove? I know my games. Oh, shush. That's all that really matters. That's the importance. Yeah, I know there's some up here. In this land. Field zone. Up at the very top. As well. Kind of brings me back to Nasty's loot. Flying around and shit. Oh, yeah! Oh, of course we missed. Yeah, of course we missed twice. There should be all of them. All in this room. That's where most of them lies. Ugh. Give me all that. Are you it? No, you're not. What are we missing? We're at 378. That's kind of not good. Okay, I think actually that platform... Actually, yeah, because we just walk around. This one takes us back down. Alright. I have confidence that we did get everything prior to this room. This is a big room, so... Definitely understandable and expect it to miss some. Oh my god, that fucking wall. Every time, man, every time. Alright, is there any right around here? No. Any more balloons? No, we already came up here. Um. Let's see. We got everything on the planets. The planet models. Oh. See, there's the beginning that we can't get to because invisible walls. Force fields. It's the correct answer. Oh. It's all in here. No. We already got those vases. Let's just fly around like a dragon should. Nothing here. We already came up here. Okay, it might have to be. Because it looks like we got all the balloons and everything. Nice, I guess. We already came through there. We just came through there, too. Alright, then. Alright, mate. What are we missing? Oh, I think I know, too. Which sucks, because we should have just ended at that part. But we'll come back to it. I'm pretty sure I always miss this part. What we're missing so much is because it's back here. Look around. I think it has to do with the ladder. Oh yeah, that thing. That is the reason. So, yeah, I think you literally have to come all the way back. Where's this part? At least you don't fall completely straight off. So, okay, we, we have to come all the way back. So it's something we have to do anyways. We didn't really miss anything. Necessarily. Alright. That's fine by me. If that's the way the game wants to go, we'll go that way. Bam. Anything to get rid of Ripto. And money bags. Alright, so we gotta speed run this shit. Yeah, I'm in the speed run. Of course, I'm not used to that, because 
they do this glitch that I will show off in the bonus episode that will allow you to skip right through and into Dragon Shores as soon as you get to Winter Tundra. And there's glitches and all that to get to Winter Tundra very early. Essentially, you can get there right away. Go straight to Crush, go straight to Gulp, just so you can get here to Dragon Shores, or Winter Tundra, into, in, into Dragon Shores. That should be it. There it is. We did it. So does this take me up or down? Because you know what? Okay, I was going to say, if, if we're going up, I'm, I'm flying back up. That's my goal in life. Yep. I went there, let's go. We did it. Make it back. Just in time. So we fly right through to the end. Now let's find, well not find, but let's see the final cutscene of the game. Level, level wise. It's almost work time. Oh my god. He was waiting that entire time for his bus, and he was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna go. And then the bus came and just ran his ass over. He's dead. He is dead. That's canon. He's dead. So, essentially, it's 5,830, if my math is good, plus the 70. That's gonna... Gonna get us up there. It's about six thousand. To be exact. Oh no, fifty nine hundred. But as you know, the portals are up here too for uh, Summer Forest and Autumn Plains. Alora's right there. That's right there. That's right there, we're still missing some gems. We are at 393, we're missing seven. So yeah, that takes us at 5,900, not 6,000. Ripto's Arena, the grand finale. The final gems are inside of there. The final boss is inside of there, because it's Ripto final episode other than our bonus episode it's next time guys we made it we have all 64 orbs we're pretty much up there getting all the gems all that's really left is to finally go toe to toe with Ripto next time on Spyro see you then guys